All right, everyone. Uh, happy Monday slash Tuesday. Uh, I had a really long intro that I just recorded that was way too long, and we want to keep this video short. So uh, you know what you're supposed to do right now. If it's Monday, you're in class and you're working hard. And if it's Tuesday, happy asynchronous day. Enjoy it. Do your best uh, today. And if you have any questions, reference that question form uh, that I have in um, that I reference that I talked about before this video in the video before this. That was like just a few minutes long. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, today, I'm just going to be honest with you. This lesson is, um, well, I'll let the second slide talk for itself. So we're going to be adding and subtracting negative numbers. And uh, more specifically, we're going to be using a number line, but we'll get into that. Um, remember, by the way, I'm just going to say this before I get into this. Pause to and rewind. Just try your best to understand this. This is like a lecture but you get to control how fast it goes, right? So let's get to it. So this is the big one. Like seriously, this is one of the bigger lessons. And though what we are learning here will, uh, the, like the understanding of this is the base for straight up like the rest of math. So it's necessary for the rest of math. Oops, aye, aye, aye. Negative numbers are a full time part of our life. So make sure to ask questions if you have them in that form and then Rewind the video if you have any questions. Do your best. Guys, seriously, it's going to be so, so worthwhile to get this down. So if you already get this a little bit, awesome. That's great. Then get it down even more after watching this. And if you're still confused, I would encourage you to rewatch the lecture or rewatch a few problems where you were most confused. That's the best way to do it. Let's get to it. So our objective today is I will be able to add and subtract positive and negative numbers by using a number line. So we're not doing any multiplication or division. We're just sticking with adding and subtracting, but we're using positive and negative numbers. Some of you are going to see this and not think that the number line is necessary. And that's so cool. Congrats. Uh, that means that you're really understanding this like naturally, which is super cool. And uh, I get that. That's great. Uh, but using this number line is going to cement, like it's going to make everything in our brains just very sturdy. It'll make the rest of this sturdy. So use the number line for now, uh, even if you do understand it. So with that said, let's do it. All right. So we're adding and subtracting with a number line. Here we go. So we're going to start out really easy, right? So remember, negative numbers are the goal. But I mean, we still have positive numbers. Let's just remember how this works on the number line with a couple of problems here. All right, so let's try it out with an example here. What's two plus three? Yeah, it's that easy, straight up, it's that easy. Okay, uh, two plus three, well, the way we're gonna do this, guys, the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna use my pen here. Uh, we'll do a uh, nice orange because I like the Giants and the Dodgers won the World Series. I'm a little sad about that. Um, So we have this right here. Hmm. It's a bit more transparent than I'd like it, but that's okay. So we start at two. And we go plus three. So we go two plus one plus two plus three, and then we get five. Uh, Hadoy, two plus three is five, right? We know that. But we want to know about this as a number line, right? So let's see, note what I did here. So this does equal five. Awesome job. Ooh, smiley face. Really bad smiley face. Um, so we start at the first number we get. We always start there. That's what we need to do every time. So there are like are two, there are like three big steps here. The first is start at that first number. So we start at two. The second is we have this plus sign, right? We have this plus sign. So we need to plus, which means we go to the right. And then we have this three, right? And this three is saying, you know what? We need to go forward three, which is exactly what we did here plus three. Okay, and that's it. So we did two plus three and where we end up, right? Where we end up is exactly what our answer is. That's five. That easy. If you have any questions, rewind it, send a message in the thing. Um, I think, it's the, there you go. Awesome. I remember that wipe screen button. It's been a while since I've used this guys. What a shame. All right. Now, oh no, 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 no. Give me a second, I might need to pause this. I don't remember where my tools went. No, oh, 
Okay, we're pausing. All right, trying it out. I'm looking it up on my phone right now, LOL. There it is, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, that was the scariest thing that's ever happened in my life. I don't know why it makes that. So anyway, too, too slow, we're moving on. Six plus four, same deal. Same deal here. Ready? Start at six. Woohoo! All right, we start at six, and then we're gonna go over. It's positive, so we're gonna go over four. One, two, three, four, and our final answer in red is 10, right? We went, we chose our number six. We know we're adding, so it's plus, and then we know we're adding four, so it's to the right, four. That's it. Let's do the next one. Right. So how do we subtract two positive numbers? Well, this is a little different here. So we're going to have two problems per like category. And uh, well, we still start at the same number, right? We still start at two. Start at two. Right there. Beautiful. And we're going to go minus three. So minus is not as good, right? That means we go to the left. So we go minus one, two, and three. And then our final answer in blue is going to be negative one. Now remember, since we're minusing, we go to the left. This means to the left, right? If we have a plus, we go to the right, but minus goes to the left. So our answer is negative one. All right. Remember, start at that first number. That second part reminds you if you go left or right, and then that final number tells you by how much. Awesome stuff. Let's do this next one. See, we're blowing through these. Let's go. And remember, rewatch if you're confused. Rewatch if you're confused. All right, let's try it again. And ask questions in that form. I'm going to say it like a million times, so y'all do it. Cool. Now, here we go. We're going to, oh, wait, what am I doing now? What am I doing? Six minus four, same exact principle here. Uh, we're gonna start at six, right? And we're gonna subtract by four. That is not a great circle, but that's okay. Start at six, subtract by four. We go back one, two, three, four. Not my best bumps, but that's okay. And, oh wait, six minus four? Yeah, we don't wanna do that. That's just two. But I want you to do it with the number line. Okay, awesome. My chair shrank down a little bit. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so start at six. Minus means which direction? Think about it. And it is to the left. Minus means to the left. And we go by four. Awesome. Next one. So we're still like in part zero here. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. So happy I know that command now. So good. Now, let's bring an negative. An negative. Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock on Sunday night and I don't know why I just said that. Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. One negative number. <laughs> so we're gonna try with a negative and see, um, let's try it out. So two plus negative three. Oh, uh, what? Okay, here's the deal y'all. Here's the deal. This is the most important part of the video. May eh, maybe, close. We don't like these two signs next to each other. If you see this right here, if you're like, Mr. V, why is there a plus and a minus right next to each other? Eh, there's not supposed to be. That's gross. That's, uh, that makes me sick. I don't like seeing that at all. Nope, nope. So I need to teach you guys a quick little rule. Here we go. Positives. If we have two positive, uh, let's do it. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Let's do this, let's do this. So we have, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, guys, my brain's going a little crazy. So if we have, um, let me clear it all up. Here we go. So we have negatives and positives, right? So if we have, these are our options in the in our beautiful adding and subtracting world. 
and they're going to give us like these different categories right here. So if we have two adding, right, if we add, have two positive numbers that are combined, so this is a positive and this is positive, this is negative, negative. So here we have a positive and a negative. But if we have a positive and a positive like the last few times, uh, then it's just adding. That's it. So if we see a plus and a plus, there's like an invisible plus sign here. Or if this were a plus, then it's just adding, right? It's just adding. Now, if it's a plus and a minus, that's where things get weird, right? If you're adding like a negative, well, let's try it out. Let's try it out real quick before I get too ahead of myself. So we start still at two and we go forward negative three. So that means we should go to the right, right? Well, no, it, it doesn't because negatives just say, just negatives are like mirrors. They are like total opposites. They just say, you know what? I'm going to take what you have and make it all backwards. It's going to be all messed up. So when you see plus a negative three, that's saying, you know what? I'm going to add a minus. What? So that means we don't go right. We go left. And that's exactly right. We go left. So in this one, we're going to go left three. And that means that when we have a positive and a negative next to each other, it's going to make a negative. When we have a positive and a negative next to each other, it's going to make a negative. Now, the weird one, y'all, is this final one. Two negatives are going to make a positive. And I know that doesn't make sense. I know it's super weird. But here's the great way of thinking of it. If they're the same sign, when you're, if these two are the same, then it's a positive sign. If they're different, then it's going to be a negative. So if there are two signs next to each other and they're the same, then it's going to be positive. But if they're different, then it's a negative. Same as positive, different as negative for when two signs are next to each other. All right. So here, two signs are next to each other. We don't like that. So we're going to simplify it down to this. Two, well, plus and a minus, plus and a minus give us a uh, negative. So we do two minus three, which means if I wanted to redo this part, I could say, oh, yeah, 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 I'll redo this real quick. Adding a negative didn't make that much sense. But when I combine those, it makes a bit more sense to me. So I go two and then I go negative, which means to the left, right? Three, one, two, three. And then my final answer is going to be one. Pardon me, negative one. Okay. There you go. This video is already gone for like a while. So we're going to try and speed this up. Okay, next one. Guess what? It's really similar. It's really similar. We have this plus a negative right here. When we have two signs next to each other that are different, they're going to be a negative. That needs to be drilled into your head, y'all. This becomes six minus four. Okay, and using the number line, because I know some of y'all are like, Mr. B, I know what six minus four is. I'm not crazy, but we're still using the number line for a little bit today. We won't use it for long, I promise. But one, two, three, four. We go to the left four because we minus four. That's to the left four. And then our final answer is two. Woohoo, six minus four is two. I mean, that kind of makes sense to me, right? Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's get into the next one. Here we go. So how do we add one negative number? Let's do this same thing. We're going to do two more examples, and we're going to do rapid fire. Negative 2 plus 3. Okay, so we're starting at negative 2. Now, do we have to combine anything here? Well, not really, but we're still adding a negative. See, there's not any situation where there's two signs next to each other, right? This negative isn't touching the positive directly. The two's in between. So that's fine, actually. That's still good. So it just means we start at negative 2. And it's not saying plus a negative or minus a positive. It's just saying plus 3. Oh, OK. Well, plus is to the right. Is that? Yeah. So we do negative 2 and then go to the right by 3. 1, 2, 3. And our answer is going to be 1. So we start at that left at that first number, and since there's no signs touching, like no positive and negative or no plus or minus touching, we're allowed to just 
Yeah, we're just allowed to go to the right three, and our answer is going to equal one. Awesome. One more like this. One more like this. Here we go. Negative six plus four. Okay, negative six plus four is pretty simple here, guys. Same exact thing. We start at negative six. Negative six is our starting point. Awesome. And we're just going to add four. We don't have anything special because the plus isn't next to a minus or anything. It's just a plus. So we just go one, two, three, four. And even though we added four, guess what? This is this is still a negative in the end, and it gives us negative two. Oh, that's not my greatest handiwork there. That is, in case you're curious, that is a minus two or a negative two. Cool. Moving on. Going quick today, y'all. I promise you we're going quick. Here we go. How do we add two negative numbers? This is a weird one. So when we have two negatives, um, that means we're kind of always going to have this plus and a minus. So what are we going to have to do every time? You guessed it. We're going to have to deal with this plus and a minus here. Opposite signs. So what do we do? Since they're opposite signs, guess what? It's a negative. So this new equation is negative 2 minus 3. And this doesn't make it minus negative 3. That negative in front of the 3 is part of that combo. So it turns into negative 2 minus 3. All right. So this means we start at negative 2. And we're going to go to the left because this negative is a, the minus sign goes to the left by 3. We go to the left by 3. And our new number is going to be negative 5. Okay, remember, when we are adding two negatives, when we're adding two negatives, it's just going to go to the left. Uh, it's kind of like adding... I don't know, it kind of looks like it's almost like normal adding, but with just negatives, right? This is kind of similar to 2 plus 3 if we did it on this side, right? Hmm, that's interesting. It's like a perfect mirror down the middle, but uh, just a thought, just a thought. Okay, rewind that if you need help. I'm not going to review it that much because we need to move on. I want to get this quick. We're rapid fire here. Boom, boom, boom. I want you to... Take some time to in, to digest this. Pause, back, re, uh, rewind. There you go. Couldn't think of that. So let's do this one. Negative six minus or plus a negative four. See, I already do this automatically in my head, guys. We'll get there. So here we start at negative six, right? And then we have this plus a minus. Ooh, what's that become? Plus a minus. Well, they're different. Plus and a minus. Since they're different, they make a minus. So our new equation really is negative 6 minus 4. And we're going to go to the left because it's minus, right? So we go to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And our final answer is going to be negative 10. Now, talking through this one, you start at negative 6 right here. Boom. You start at negative 6, right? And then you go to the left. One, two, three, four. Now, why do you go to the left four when it says plus? That plus and the minus can't exist next to each other. Every time you see that, you go, nope, that is illegal. That is something that Mr. V will look at and cry every time he sees until it's fixed. So maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but uh, you know what I mean. It's super bad to have this plus and the minus here. We don't like that. That's a no-go. So what we have... To do, oops, I erased a bit too much there. Sorry, y'all. Let me make that negative again. What we need to do when we see this plus and a minus is combine it. And when they're opposite signs, so a plus and a minus are not the same sign, then we subtract. And if they're the same, which we'll see soon, then we add. All right, let's do this next one. Dun, dun, dun. So, how do we subtract one negative number? Wait a second. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you guys see right away? I'm taking. I'm take some time to think about this. What do you see? There's one thing I see that I'm just like, 
Uh, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Two negatives. This is where things get weird, right? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm taking I'm taking a couple extra seconds here, y'all. Taking a couple extra seconds, right? Does this not look like a Ninja Turtle, like in any way whatsoever? Like straight up, y'all. I this has to look like a Ninja Turtle to y'all. You, do you see it at all? Am I am I going crazy? Don't they they have like the big nose? Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Got distracted. Got distracted. Two negatives. Two negatives. Make a positive. Two negatives make a positive. Two negatives make a positive. Two negatives make a positive. So what do two negatives make? I want you to literally say it out loud. I know you're watching this video and going, Mr. V, I'm not gonna say it out loud. It's I'm not it's not Dora the Explorer. But straight up, what do two negatives make? No, I'm serious. You have to say it out loud. What do two negatives make? Okay, for those of you who did, thank you so much. And for those of you who did twice, extra props. And for those of you who didn't, shame, shame. So we have two minus a negative three. What's that equal? It's two plus three. So that two negatives actually makes this way easier. And when we think about it, it's like we're taking away a bad thing. So that's a good thing. That's a positive. That's what that becomes. So it'd be like, you know what? Your mom says you owe her $3. She's like, hey, uh, uh, Mr. V, that's not what my mom calls me. That'd be funny. Hey, Ben, you owe me $3. I'd be like, oh, no. But then she's like, actually, I'm going to take that away. I'm taking away what you owe me. So in all reality, I gained $3 because she paid it herself. Like, I got that money back. So two plus three, and that's going to equal five. But we got to do it on here, y'all. We start at two. We go plus one, two, three. Oh, those are messy, but that's okay. And our final answer is five. All right, next one. Six minus a negative four. Guess what? I love this one. Two negatives, Ninja Turtle. Uh, sorry, I, I cannot unsee it, y'all. I cannot unsee it. Uh, six minus a negative four. Maybe you could associate this with a two negatives. You mean a Ninja Turtle, and Ninja Turtles are awesome. They're totally positive. Uh, we get this to be six plus four. Red Ninja Turtle. Who was the Red Ninja Turtle? I think, wasn't it Raphael's the Orange Ninja Turtle? Raphael. I think Leo, Leonardo. Leo was the Red. That's my bet. Because I think... Donatello was purple. Mikey was, no, 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 no. Okay, Mikey was orange. So Leo was red. That's my bet. I can't remember. Six plus four equals 10. Y'all are going to be like, my talk to your parents, and you're going to be like, my math teacher straight up talked about Ninja Turtles today for like way too long in math. And I'm going to be like, sometimes you just need to, you know? There's nothing quite like the Ninja Turtles. So we start at six, we go to the right four because this is positive, and six plus four equals 10, woohoo, oh yeah, awesome, beautiful, nice and easy. Once you get those negatives fixed, it's like, oh, Mr. V, this is the easiest thing I've ever seen in my life. You're exactly right, it, it, it has that potential. Um, now this is added, so let's look back here. This is subtracting one negative, so that negative was four, but what if we make that negative the first number? What happens? Well, when this negative is the first number, it's kind of just like a double subtraction problem again. Negative two, and then we're gonna go to the left. I promise you that's a leftward arrow. Uh, we're gonna, oh, my camera disappeared, sorry. We're gonna go to the left by three. One, two, three. Negative five. Start at that first number. Go to the left. Or check if there's any like doubles, positives and negatives together. And then we go to the left or right. 
however many that second number is. So two, negative two, minus three. Awesome, awesome. This is really looking good, guys. I'm I'm feeling confident about where you're at. And I haven't even seen you all. Like, that's how confident I am. Negative six minus four, easy money. We're going to start at negative six. Boom. We're going to go minus four because this is a minus four. One, two, three, four. And we end up at negative 10. Awesome. Okay, so we're almost done. Straight up, we're almost done. That's how fast this is going, right? So we're going to erase everything here. And if you have questions, remember, start at that first number, see which direction we go, and then go by however much that second number is. I didn't want to go over 30 minutes. I think we're a little over, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're going to go as we're, – we're moving quick, I promise. We have – I think we have just – Let's check. Let's speed up. Oh, yeah. We don't, that final side is nothing. So we're almost done. Two more. Negative two minus a negative three. Guess what? Two negatives here. Uh, what? We've got we've got a Ninja Turtle, right? Ninja Turtles are awesome. This becomes negative two plus three. Right? This is like his headband, y'all. If you didn't see it. Right? I mean, oh, wow. That's an ugly looking Ninja Turtle. That's okay. Negative two plus three. Let's do this one on the number line, y'all. We start at that first number, negative two. And we're going to go plus by three. Plus three, one, two, three. And that's going to get us to one. Negative two plus three equals one. Oh, that is awful to see. Uh, let's make it this color equals one. You can see that, congrats, but like, mm, that's hard to see for me, so. And remember, those two negatives make a positive. We always deal with like two positives, so if you see two plus three, guess what? You're doing this automatically, because this is a two positives right here, because we have positive two plus positive three. Those two positives always make a positive. This just becomes two plus three, right? But we're so used to not putting positive numbers in front, because we, we don't need to, so. Final problem, here we go. Take some time to try this one for yourself. So pause the video right now. I'm gonna start talking again here in like two seconds and then we'll finish this up and I'll give you instructions for the rest of the day, uh, probably in the document. So check the document when you're done with this video. But work on this question first. Pause it right now. No for real, pause. Nice job. If I, you didn't pause, that was super awkward. If you did pause, hopefully it wasn't that awkward. So we start at negative six. You always start at that first number. So you don't even need to do the part with combining integers here uh, or combining the signs until you start it. Like you can wait. Now we're finish off with a nice Michelangelo here. There's his little bandana. All right, Ninja Turtles are awesome. And since Ninja Turtles are awesome, this becomes a positive. This negative six plus four. Two negatives make a positive. And since this is plus four, which direction does plus go? To the right. So we're going to go to the right by four. One, two, three, four. And our final answer is negative two. Oh my goodness. Okay, go ahead and finish up for today by working on that Google form. If you have any questions, put them in there, but we've got that Google form right at the end of today, and that's all you've got to do. You don't have to do anything with this PowerPoint. All you had to do was watch it and gain information. Awesome work. I don't want to keep you any longer. Have a great day um, and keep working. Finish that form up because if you don't do the form, watching this video was for nothing. Awesome. Do the form. Come on, let me end. There it is.